And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some labs. We're going to have some fun. We're playing this brand new lab, the Quick Draw Lab. Um, yeah, let's see what it's all about. So it says each round your hand is filled with random, heavily discounted cards. They're all fleeting, so use them while you can. All right, so this is going to be my first time trying this. So we're going to be kind of playing this together, just having some fun. That's what we're doing here on the Saturday. We're also going to do the Tri-Region Singleton later on. But the rules, start of each round, we'll be drawing five random fleeting cards. Each round you'll have three mana to spend, and each card will cost between zero and three mana. Every other round you'll draw a spell that can remove fleeting from one card of your choice. Okay. So let's just let's have some fun. Let's see what happens here. Probably going to do some crazy stuff. Okay, so we have three regular mana and three spell mana. Um, well, I want to... Oh, yeah, I get to mulligan? Good. And no zero or one mana cards. So do we want to go... I guess we go Bright Steel Formation. I think that's probably better than She Who Wanders. Which one of these cards do we want to remove fleeting from? I guess the She Who Wanders. That could be crazy. Um. Dragon's Rage. Dang, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Wait, you can save mana for the next turn? I thought just every single turn it just refills your mana. Okay, it only refills three mana, not not okay, so you start with a six. That was just kinda weird how it started. Or how it said. Okay. Well that's my bad. Yeah, then I definitely didn't need to play that withering well. There's no reason to cast that card. Strike for justice. Okay. See, I I didn't think it was spell mana from just what it said, but then whenever you have the three spell mana also available. Okay, so definitely a learning game. Ooh, that's really nice. We've had one card cost zero, and that was Warning Shot. Well, then. Yeah, I agree. I wish I wish I had that two extra mana now. That's my bad. Oh, 
Okay, so we are... We are at six. Not much life. Why can't anything cost zero? We need some things costing zero over here. Face me. Uh, not me, not me. I'm just going to obliterate stuff. I'm just going to put this 10-10 to block their 8-4. So the prolong isn't fleeting, so we can just keep the prolong. Two mana gangplank is pretty good. I mean, I guess that's two of our three mana. To battle. I think we should keep the battle fury. Maybe I just keep the Noxion Fervor. I don't think I keep three mana Battle Fury. I kind of think I keep Noxion Fervor. <laughs> yeah, I haven't I haven't played Trinomir in a long time either. Last time we had Volition, it was two two mana. Last time we had She Who Wanders, it was three mana. Are these really random? Okay, it's not random. They always have the same cost. Wow, that was not a good time to play Rasa. Yeah, that was not a good time to play Rasa. They brave or stupid. You'll need more than that. So if the Tark has his fury, we get to use that thing. City Breaker isn't that great. I'm just gonna save my mana for next turn. Ooh. Relentless Pursuit. an interesting one. Free and lonesome of the summer breeze. That can be bad. So if I play Noxion Fervor and Grasp the Undying to kill a Rasa. Then I'd be left with one mana. So I'd be looking at like Bull Elnuk. It's probably worse than going Karina Veraza. So we're relying on we are relying on Karina Veraza doing two damage. It's got to do at least two. If 
Oh my gosh, that was so close. That was so close. Like a gale through the valley. Be gone. I don't know which one of these I would want to save. I guess the she who wanders again. Keep the rally. Interesting. Oh, no, I'll just go with the ten ten regeneration. Especially early on, right after they drew all their their cards, I was hoping to bl obliterate a bunch of them. a spell that costs six plus mana? I'm not sure if we have. All in the day's work. Nothing but Noxian might. We swim within the flows of magic. Yeah, I guess Swain's leveled up. I've dealt 25 non-combat damage. What did I do that dealt 25 non-combat damage? Yeah, we hit the Allegiance. Does it just make stuff up? I need to keep any of these. They're gonna be keeping a lot of cards. Like they've been keeping a lot of cards in hand. Oh, okay, I guess that's some of the cards they've kept. It was right there. Ooh, okay, now we talking. Now we talking. Okay. So we can go Cat of the Arm to give Overwhelm, and we can give Vulnerable with this. No! Okay, wait. Could still... I still kill them? I guess I still kill them. Alright, that's fine. You know, basically I'm thinking, do I want to Glimpse Beyond? I mean, I guess I could just Glimpse Beyond. Kill. No, we just... That's fine. Get 
Good up, vulnerable. River shape the land. Hopefully they don't have anything with their... I mean, they have tons of cards. Hopefully the one mana doesn't do anything. Lifesteal on that thing? Really? That's gonna keep them alive? Uh, why don't they go barrier lifesteal on the 1010? Just gain 10 life. I mean, I wish they would have because I would have glimpsed beyond it. Oh, these are fleeting too? I guess they're all just fleeting. I was thinking that maybe if I drew those, they weren't fleeting. Well then, I didn't even need to draw those then. Alright, keep this ruination. Oh, honestly, maybe... Okay, that was actually maybe back. So I get this thing back. Maybe I should have kept Concerted Strike. I may, should, may have... Kept Concerted Strike. Ooh, I love Whirling Death. Whirling Death is great. Are we just going to mill out? What do they have? They have 11 cards, I have 8. I'm about to mill out. Any card you draw or create is fleeting. Okay. Hey, Blornag. Gotcha. So all the cards that we create are also fleeting. That doesn't really help me, does it? Hmm. Because of bright steel formation. So do I just ruination now, or if I do, they could have one mana six power of stuff. Glenhorn looking good. I mean, Glenhorn would just die. Strength and grace, beauty One. The zero mana six power unit. Should have kept concerted strike. Not ruination. That was a mistake. All right. Well, now I know how this mode works a little bit more. We did waste some some mana earlier on, um, you know, especially that, like that two mana with that withering will that we wasted earlier on. That. That would have been really helpful to just have two extra mana. I don't think we're losing again. I don't think we're losing again. Yeah, we saw some troll cards there, Panda Knight. Okay, so we're going to get rid of this. We're going to get rid of that. Um, get rid of this. Restless. 
the attack token again. Trinomir is pretty good. So I'll just keep this deny for later. Ah, missed allegiance. Hmm. Okay, not bad. Oh no, we don't get to keep this. No, I need to keep this Steel Tempest. I need that for next turn. Never mind. This is bad. I need that Steel Tempest. Yeah, we just don't even need to play Progress Day. So we'll get excited something. See what they do. How can Brom help? I guess get excited them. I wish we could keep the Steel Tempest. The spirit gives to those who listen. What is gained when we return malevolence? Let fuel Dang. spill from the sky. Okay. 30 away from deep. We're basically there. So we're going to play Nautilus and Chevalier. It is time. Have you met my shield? Then maybe keep the hatchling, maybe? I think this is a pretty good hand to get. This is fun, yes. Alright, without doing that, I'm gonna go over here, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna repost there. And just block like this. I want to play this Nautilus because it is 12 health and tough, so it can at least keep me alive from Trindamir, which is something that I'm going to need. Um, is this worth denying? Probably not. The nice seems really important and valuable. Well, it's, we can't we can't play Usari. Are you saying you would keep Usari, not keep Hatchling? The March. Okay, now that is definitely worth denying. Wow. 
Some people just can't handle the deny. I don't know what that was about. I don't know why we won that. <laughs> no idea why they conceded. Can't can't handle the deny. <laughs> Yeah, we were. We had quick draw on that deny. Card we were absolutely denying. Okay. So this is gonna be sweet. So we'll static shock. So that's the plan. We're going to Static Shock. I'm going to prolong the... Arachnoid Sentry? Oh, wait. I'm going to want to pr prolong the Sejuani that we draw. So I guess I just do this. Do one damage there. Let's double the power and health of all the allies. The Winter's Claw Strikes. Roll, my warriors! What? We didn't draw a Sejuani? What are we doing here? No Sejuani. Who's down? Weapons up! I'll take everything. Alright, we'll keep the Fury of the North. Oh wait, I could have just cast Fury of the North. But they had a barrier anyway, so that's fine. Alright, we should get some huge units, hopefully. Or not. <laughs> or not. The winter's claw. Right, it's done that. Is he here yet? Oh man. Okay, so no Draven. Yeah, what are we doing? We're playing the Sejuani card with no Sejuani, the Draven card with no Draven. This is not good deck building. This is not good deck building. At least we've had answers to Unyielding Spirit. So don't just have Unyielding Spirit cheese us out of games. So even if Draven's biggest fan dies and they get that, they get their card back, they only get a 3-1. Because it just has Ruthless Raiders, they just get a 3-1. Poros. <laughs> Infinite Poro. Alright, where's our huge units? Seriously? Okay, there's one. Wow, we get one a turn. That's it, one a turn.
That's all we get. So if I kill this, it goes back into their hand and it's fleeting, right? So like it's just gonna go away, right? I would assume that's how that works. Lemon things with the donation deck. Thank you so much there, Lemon. Yeah, we'll take the 10-8 Caddo. Deny. Uh-oh. I could have Fury to the North, but I'd rather just Remembrance. Um, the Remembrance thing should be able to probably trade with, like, yeah, that'll trade with Ledros anyway. It's Ash Thresh. Okay, cool. Alright, writing you down. Oh, we played this deck yesterday. Alright, what'd they just do? Flash of Brilliance. Whoa. Okay, did it, co did it cost him four? I think it just cost him three. Okay, now here we go. Now we're talking. These are some units. Oh, wait, but now they get to replay Ledros. Should do five damage to me. I mean, it's better than taking nine. We have an 1818 18 Bright Steel that also gets plus three plus zero and overwhelm. I think I keep the kindly tavern keeper. May need to heal our Nexus three. Hope they don't have five direct damage. I'm, I'm playing the Bright Steel. I guess they do. Darn. <clears throat> so I should have Fury to the, Fury of the North and killed the Ledros during my attack token, my attack turn. One and two.
I went for Remembrance, should've just gone for Fury of the North. Just killed it. Are these Shadow Fiends gonna cost zero? I would assume so. So I could see doing that. I don't know, I just I wanted to go straight to attacks. But yeah, I guess I could have done that. You know, I, I didn't want to go the bright steel the next the following turn and allow them uh, to play another big, big blocker or something else or ruination or you know like all that kind of stuff. I wanted to go straight to attacks. That's what I was thinking. Very unlikely, even though we had one. Okay, maybe it is, I guess. Oh, now the thing costs six? I guess it'd be fleeting anyway. But yeah, that didn't, that didn't, that was not good, good play by me. That didn't really help. It's not, I guess it's true, it's not fleeting, but I'm not going to have six mana. So it's, comes. But it might as well be. Yeah, that, that was really dumb. How do we turn on plunder? We need to turn on plunder. Take their ledros. That's what we need to do. Come on, static shock. Allegiance trigger. Very nice. So now we know we're not hitting the Allegiance trigger with a Wayfinder. That was just a really bad play by me. So we should be dis are we discarding this, I think, right? So then Yeah. Pump those up.
Yeah, Catalyst seems pretty good. How much does four Demacia cost, mana-wise? Two. I want to do that Catalyst of Aeons also. Or so sorry, I think sorry. So I want to play this for Demacia, but Catalyst of Aeons has to be the best card to play. Definitely thinking about keeping the four Demacia though with the with the prolong. They should be keeping their Ledros again. Right, if we kill Ledros with transfusion, they'll just keep Ledros again. I don't want this hapless aristocrat. I'm just gonna get rid of it. I don't think I want it. Like, if, if I play Hapless Aristocrat first, then they they have the opportunity to play another blocker, and, like, I'm sure, like, if they play another blocker, it's going to be a lot better than the Hapless Aristocrat. I can play it afterwards, I guess. I guess it just doesn't really, see. but I don't want to do it before. Yeah, all we need are two more Catalyst of Aeons that we can place a three. Everything here's got quite a mustache. So am I keeping four Demacia or am I keeping Shadow Fiend? Which one of those am I keeping? I'm gonna keep Shadow Fiend. Yeah, Catalyst is insane in this mode. So now, now we got four mana each turn. They still haven't spent three of their mana, so they still have the, the three spell mana. Are pretty good too because you draw so many cards. Do they want to pass also? That'd be cool with me. Oh my gosh, they made Riptide Rex even slower. I didn't know that was possible. We just stay at 12. <laughs> We 
go straight to attacks. Oh no! Rude. Probably not better to go straight to it. Well, oh, I guess we'll have to see what's in our hand, right? We don't get to keep those cards. Let's see. What do we get? Ooh, love Dragon's Rage. Oh, man. Heroic. See? Stupid hapless aristocrat in the way. Okay, not very good. So we have Dragon's Rage and Detain this turn. A couple of removal spells. Ooh, Zap Spray Fin's actually just awesome, because it just attunes and you, I just get that mana. So I can play Spray Fin also and these. Is a mountain and covered in ice. Like a fish in water. Yeah, it's basically, do we want to Dragon's Rage the Teemo, or do we want to detain the Teemo? I think we want to detain the Teemo and get our 9-9, and then Dragon's Rage with the 9-9. The young fight for glory. I fought for legacy. That's what I'm thinking. Then I'm going to... I want, need to do this first. Now we have our six here. Now we can Shadow Fiend to replace the 1-1. One, one. Yeah. yeah, whenever you detain something... Oh no! Dang. Oh, that's just caught in the cold. Okay, sorry. Okay, that's not that bad. I was thinking that, for some reason, I was thinking that was Crystal Arrow that was going to frostbite everything. That's just caught in the cold. That's not that big a deal. Do y'all think I keep either of these or neither? I kind of think I keep neither. Like, maybe Pilfer Goods, I guess. I think maybe we just let them both go away and just keep the prolong. Yeah, y'all are saying just keep prolong. That's what I'm kind of thinking, too. Is this the death you imagined? That Dragon's Rage wasn't as good as I had hoped. I could keep Shadow Fiend again. But we're doing good here. I think I just let them all go their merry way. Yeah, should have kicked with Ren. You're right. Made a couple mistakes that I didn't think about. Um, I just didn't think about Ephemeral would be, you know, dying with that. I was like, whoops. That's another Ledros. So, sure hope they don't have four damage burn spells. Yeah, as I say, the Valor doesn't cost any mana.
Okay. You earn the right to call themselves Tribarian. Oh right. Puff caps. Well, <laughs> flame of fire. We're gonna keep this grassland dying as we're playing with fire over here. <laughs> no. Whew. Okay, still alive. Yeah, still alive. <laughs> Man, laughs are fun. They're just crazy, you know, like these kind of games, like this isn't, no you know, like these aren't normal plays at all or anything, you know, like it's just play so differently and, and do such different stuff. All right, we're gonna do one more and break this 2-2 tie. We'll get us that winning record, get that 3-2. All right, progress day gone, heart of the flux gone. Um, I think just mulligan all these. Yeah, I wish I would have kept the Fiora with the unyielding spirit. Guide us. <laughs> Should have kept Fiora. Fiora, I mean, just as we've seen, like, there's just so many really large units like that that it just doesn't really seem like Fiora is, um, you know, just being the 3 3, like, that it would be killing too much, too much stuff. I don't think, I don't know if it's worth unyielding spirit any, any of these. I think I'm gonna prolong the unyielding spirit and wait till next turn. I could put it on my my two one. Let recite protect me. If I'm my two one scout, I get to just keep on attacking with that all the time. Sure. I don't know what the point of that was, but whatever. It's just cast it on something. I don't know, because none of these are really that important for Unyielding Spirit. There we go. Now we have Fiora Unyielding Spirit. my Tiana Crown Guard blocker. Wow, Professor Von Yip pumping itself. That's broken. before 
Well, now I have the unyielding spirit. I don't think it's really that worth it to play Outriders. I'm just going to keep this mana. Mana is really valuable. I don't know if that Outriders is that valuable. Let them eat souls. All right, we'll just attack with everything. Pick up Katarina. We can replay Katarina. Keep on. We can use Katarina to rally with the Fiora. It's kind of exciting. Wow. Really? <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right. Not going to be very easy. Never mind. So much for Katarina. Can have you before to protect Katarina? All right, I want to keep this ruination. And I guess I just play Professor Von Yip because my mana would get wasted anyway. Might as well play the 4 5. Lee Sin. Now that's another good thing to Unyielding Spirit. Lee Sin. <laughs> Could have two unyielding spirits to go along with our ruination. Master yourself. Master your enemy. Onward to victory. Is this supposed to be a challenge? I'll see this room. And I guess I should have played the Spirit's Refuge too. I don't know why. I, I, I kept that available like in case they would have had a, a response to the Unyielding Spirit. <clears throat> I probably should have just played it. I don't know. I guess we get to save the mana. Oh, yeah. Okay. Deal two, then rally. All right, I'm in there. I am in there. I'm in there for a Shunpo. Rally with our... Uh, with our champions and everything. I will not That's fine. It's a 9-9 now. We'll, we're going to bounce it. With Lee Sin. Alright, maybe we need to bounce that. Um, now nah, we're just going to vengeance that. Choose the right time to strike. I want to level up the Lee Sin before my first combat. This is pretty crazy. This barrier. Bounce this thing.
And now we get to Shunpo. Deal two to this rally. And now kill that, bounce this thing. I guess. Oh, yeah, the thing has a barrier, so yeah, it's just getting bounced. <laughs> no, where are you going? I want to keep playing. I got two, two unyielding spirit awesome champions. <laughs> Even after that judgment. All right, so there we go. That's <laughs> that's the quick draw. Yeah, this game, you know, these are pretty crazy. Like, this is something just to have fun with and uh, do crazy things, see your opponent do crazy things. Um, you know, I, I really like these different game modes that that Runeterra has to offer with Expeditions, Labs, Gauntlets. So even though I just focus on playing constructed decks over and over and, you know, I just play, you know, I play tons and tons of different constructed decks, of course. Um, but that's that's like the format that I play all the time because that's that's the most popular format and everything and that's the easiest format to like watch and then um, Go replicate yourself. You can go play the deck that I was playing and, and that kind of stuff It's still really fun to just play these different modes sometimes on un unwind if you're uh, You know running through a tough spot. We all have our uh, you know good days and bad days and uh, if you're having a day where RNG is not in your favor with your your rank decks and stuff like that. Just go chill out with those, with some labs or or some gauntlet or some expedition. You know, just it's, it's all it's it's just fine to kind of take a little break sometimes. Okay, um, let's see. So there we go. That's our quick draw lab. We'll also be doing the tri region singleton later. So the y'all watch on YouTube. Make sure you check that out. But also, uh, hit that like button, leave those comments. Let me know how you've been liking these labs, if you've been doing anything crazy. If you've seen anything crazy, leave those comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.